And with all the talk around obesity and whether it's an epidemic or whether it's a disability, whether it's a national crisis, there is some truth to the fact that job losses are posing an increased concern in this country. And guess what? Take a look at the map on the left. The red, yellow, and purple map is a county-by-county county picture of unemployment. In October 2008, the blue and white map on the right yep, breaks down the nation's obesity. Notice the overlap, Michigan down to Appalachia in the south, what we call the obesity belt, corresponds with obesity rates, unemployment rates. Is there a cause and effect? If you are fat, does it mean you are less likely to find a job? I'm joined by Gary Phelan, an attorney specializing in, in employment laws represents workers and plaintiffs and Deborah Kelly. She defends employers against class action lawsuits. Good to have both of you with us. Uh, Gary, let's just set the stage. Obesity as a disability or obesity? The rate of obesity in this country plays a big role in the rising cost of health care. But now there's startling new information about race and weight. One ethnic group has by far the most alarming obesity numbers. We're paging Dr. Gupta to find out who and why. So, who and why? Uh, well, it's African Americans, and it's staggeringly higher than than non uh, than whites and Hispanics. And what's interesting, uh, Carol, you know, when I first started working at this network, we talked about the rates of people being overweight all the time, mm -hmm. and now we talk about obesity almost in the way that we used to talk about overweight. It, it's gotten that much worse over the past several years, for sure. Uh, but there are some concerning numbers, specifically about African Americans. And, and the rates of obesity. Uh, what, what, they, what they really try to do is break down obesity rates uh, by, by race and also by state. And you can take a look at the numbers there. I mean, it's pretty staggering. 36% of blacks, more than one in three, are obese. Wow. 29% of Hispanics, 24% of whites, 40% of black women overall, Carol, as well. Uh, this is what has gained a lot of attention when we talk about health care as well, because obesity is related to just about every chronic disease you can imagine, heart disease, stroke, many types of cancers as well. There are, uniformly across the country, the rates have been going up, but there are a couple of areas that are particularly hard hit. The South and the Midwest, you can take a look at the numbers overall. Certain states, uh, more so um, Mississippi, uh, Alabama, Maine, Ohio, and Oregon, 40% or more of the people there in those states are obese. And again, with it, more diabetes cases, more heart disease cases. This is part of the problem with fixing health care. As the means for someone to rightfully say, I'm not going to hire you because you're going to cost me more money. Well, that's a, that's a good example because obesity, generally speaking, where it involves somebody who's overweight, that is generally not considered a disability. It has to be something that is severe. Often that's measured by somebody who's twice the normal body weight. Um, but the example, so that's where it would be a disability. But what you mentioned um, is if I don't hire you because of excess health care costs, that's where you're perceiving them as being disabled and therefore may still be so you're liable. you you can still be fat but fit and therefore I should be able to hire you. Or just fat and able to do the job. Uh, Deborah, the, the Cleveland Clinic has been out in front of this. They admittedly do not hire cigarette smokers. And when pushed the last couple of months, have said, yes, they are concerned about hiring obese people too because of, one, doing the work. Work, but also the inherent health care costs of covering someone who's going to have higher health care bills. Legal? Well, I agree with Gary that it is inappropriate for an employer to uh, not hire someone because of concerns about health care costs. And there's a brand new law that just went into effect in November, Gina. That Thousands of people lined up outside a Detroit neighborhood center after catching wind of a federal stimulus program offering help to pay their bills. Today is one of several days for these folks.
and put them in a casket. Put your trust in the Lord, not magic. You can go to the court and grab it. When it's straight, I want to be grown. Do things in my own, be wrong. Can't be safe, you hurt my danger, love. Red yellow and purple map is a county by county picture of unemployment in October 2008. The blue and white map on the right yep, breaks down the nation's obesity. Notice the overlap. Michigan down to Appalachia in the south, what we call the obesity belt, corresponds with obesity rates, unemployment rates. Is there a cause and effect? If you that uh, addresses that, that disallows genetic testing to get rid of people. But the issue here is if someone can't do the essential functions of their job because they're overweight, it's not illegal to say, you got to go. And while only morbidly obese people are considered disabled now, uh, it may be that under the new amendments to the Americans with Disabilities Act, more overweight people are protected. But at the end of the day, the employer can say, this is the guts of the job. Can you do it? And if because because you're so overweight you can't. It is not discriminatory. It is totally fair to say to the employee then you have to leave employment. But Gary, if an employer says I'm not going to hire a smoker, that's not a disability. That's not in a problem with doing the job. But employers are increasingly getting by with that. Well, I mean, it, it, that, that's not not in, in all states, but again, that that because it is of the state fact by that state. okay, because that's focused on behavior, whereas uh, somebody who is uh, maybe obese, it's more related. But to how do you know that I just can't push myself away from the table? You don't maybe know. that's why I'm obese. You don't know, and but ultimately, it shouldn't matter. The focus should be on can you do the job. I mean, there's not just like you can't not hire someone perhaps because they're obese. Maybe they don't have a good diet, but they they otherwise look fit. Doesn't mean you might say, well, they, we might be ended up on the hook because of this person has a poor diet. Therefore, we can't hire them. Well, I always I always say to employers, treat people like they had a paper bag over their body. Tell them what the guts is of the job you want them to do and say, can you do it or can't you do it? You don't care what they look like, if they're Christian or Jew, male, female, fat, thin. If the answer is, you know, I really can't do that, they're done. They can't work in your workplace. Otherwise, otherwise, right. you've got to do it on a case-by-case basis. Deborah Kelly, thank you so much. My Gary pleasure. Phelan, thanks for coming in. I appreciate thank you, it. Nancy. All right, y'all. What y'all have to say to Sammy? Fuck you, bitch. Your fat ass. And what else? Um, you is big in your stomach. I'm big in my ass. Tell her, what, where you fat at, Cara? In my ass. And, call, and now, what you got to say? She called you black. Black is beautiful, bitch. And what else, Kaka? And she said, y'all ain't got no mama. I, I do got, got a mama. mama. Your white, crushy boy. <laughs> your white, crushy ass. I bet you don't take a bang. I bet you got roaches in your house. Come on, you stupid, bitch. You stupid, bitch.